In this video, we'll learn about SDLC, Software Development Lifecycle. What is SDLC? Any software which is uh, just a vision is being converted to a software needs to go through a process. This process is called SDLC. There are different phases to this SDLC. We have to learn about each phase. So let's start. The first phase which a software go through is planning and requirement gathering. We need to gather the requirements properly. It's very important that all the requirements which a client wants to develop, those needs to be gathered correctly and as per their needs. Imagine somebody wants to build a bicycle. Let's say there's no bicycle existent and somebody had a vision of developing a bicycle and if the requirement was not gathered properly the bicycle wouldn't have looked what it is actually today so it's very important that a software or a vision which somebody has thought of has to be the requirement has to be gathered in a proper way so the planning and the requirement gathering is a very important phase of any SDLC. Once the requirement is gathered properly with a lot of questions, with a lot of uh, documents and vision, then we can move on to the next step, which is design. This design phase is about designing the requirements into proper documentations. These documentations can be flowchart, can be Excel sheets, can be different uh, Word document. The, the different documents which a software has is business requirement document BRD, software requirement specifications SRS or feature requirement specification FRS. The terminologies may differ from company to company or project to project but they all cater to developing the software. The different team members including the product owner, the business analyst, they are responsible for converting these requirements into proper document sets so that the other teammates in the team can understand what actually the requirement is and they can start working on developing them. So after the design phase is complete, we'll move on to the next phase, which is coding. This is also called implementation because we are actually converting the requirements into running software in the form of codes. So depending on uh, which language the company chooses, the coding is written, the codes are developed and once the software is ready, then the testing phase appears. Here we QA, the testers come into picture wherein we have to perform our own set of steps which we'll talk about in the next video which is STLC. So testing is the next phase wherein the code which is written in the previous phase is tested and quality is checked and made sure that there is no issues, there's no bugs and the requirements have been properly met. So as we know testing is all about delivering a bug free system and at the same time matching the exact requirements. So once the testing is done, there's deployment. We'll talk about what deployment is. After it is deployed, there's the last phase which is called maintenance. Now maintenance is a contract between the company and the client wherein the client needs support from the company it, the support might be for six months, for a year or however the contract has been signed for. This support would include solving any production issues if they appear to or providing them test cases and scenarios if they need to test or developing smaller features or extensions if required by the client. This is all contractual and whatever contract 
mentions accordingly the maintenance is provided by the company so combining all these phases we come to an end of sdlc which will lead us to have a software which is running and bug free thank you